Hey guys and welcome back to Factorio. So, we are going to go and try and clear out some of the bases around the pollution section. Uh, I do apologise, it's been a little while since the last Factorio episode, but I have been dealing with a bit of shit. So, that's why there's been a lot of stuff in the channel that's kind of went um, a bit by the wayside. But, don't worry, I'll get back on track eventually. Alright, let's, uh, yeah, I'm trying to clear out all of this stuff. Should have picked up some more, uh, some more ammo before I left. Fuck! Alright, let's just head up. I do have a cup of coffee with me, this is the first episode I'm recording today, so... I'm, uh... If there's little pauses in my commentary, then I'm probably having a drink. Because I'm trying to stay caffeinated, or at least get caffeinated, because I just woke up, like, half an hour ago. Ah, the joys of working from home. You can be a lazy fuck. Right. I want you to stop doing that, start making these. Alright, and that means actually, fuck that, fuck that, and fuck you too. Uh, I want one of these, which I need some iron for. Let's grab this here. And... Fuck it. Shove you there. Tell you I want that. Um, make a few of these. And can I get a long handed? There we go. Shove that in there and ask for that many. There we go, now we can actually get some, uh, some piercing rounds made. Okay, let's go and attack this fool. This is when I get attacked. Yep, there it is. Swift. Right. Oh, I did pick up, uh, piercing, uh, regular mag, sorry. That was, uh, that was a very nice way to... End off that attack. Ah, let's make some grenades as well. Right, let's shoot these guys first. They don't do an awfully large amount of damage to me. There we go. And... There we go, we're gonna make a straight line. So a little straight line advance. Oh, that, there we go. Bump. No, that's not what I've done, I clicked that, there we go. Ah, uh, slowly advancing with these. I don't know, ah, uh, we're getting quite close. I don't know why it does that. Just decides it doesn't want to fucking work for me. That's really odd, that not enough ingredients thing. Like, I'm, I'm placing this down and then clicking it too fast, I think. There we go. Right, and that one in there. Ow. Alright, can we... Oh, there we go. Got it. There we are, and remove that one. Wow.
Run away! Piece of shit thing. Oh man, you just can't destroy them, they're a pain in the ass. Right, let's grab... Ah, oh, I need some more iron. Jesus. And that there is why you need poison capsules, because poison capsules will just... Why are we not getting military th Oh, because it's fucking blue, you idiot. I wonder who, uh... I wonder how many people pointed that out in the likes, Stejo. Stejo, you need blue science. For that military tech. What are you playing at, Stejo? What are you playing at? The thing is, with some piercing rounds, like, when we've got... Oh, it's all just steel plate that we're missing? Alright. Uh... Let's give me a wee steel chest. Pop that there. Pop it down to, like, here, I suppose, and... There we go, shove a couple in it. Right. Uh, that's all doing alright. This needs sorting here because this is the... That's all the wrong side. Not the wrong side, but it's... It's in the wrong place. To be honest, I don't think we need that many more. We've currently got an awful lot of fucking stone bricks here. Alright, let's go make sure that our... Look at, them, look at them all. Let's go make sure that our path is, uh, is done correctly. Ah! I can't push the, the opposite key. Oh my god, right, I do apologise for this. Oh no, I can, never mind. Um, I thought that was the, the one that was hotkeyed to my OBS, but it's... It hotkeys to, uh... That hotkey brings me back to this. Like, brings me back to my video games, whereas the... The other hotkey is forward slash that takes me to... Um... Forward slash takes me to the... The work experience and technical difficulty screen. There you go. A little bit of background on the old YouTubes. The YouTubes? It's gonna take forever to mine like that, isn't it? What do I need? I need some gears. Just iron. I just need to pick up iron. Alrighty. Remove you, remove you, remove you. Okay. And shove. You there, you there, and you there. Okay. There we go, now we've got an extra one that's mining this stuff out. So that should get it mined a little bit quicker. Okay, I want a... I'm going to put a chest here that I'm going to shove my... all of these in. Just all of the junk that, I cut, that comes out of my inventory. Okay, and let's see how many Pearson rounds that we managed to accrue. Eh, not a lot, but... There we go. These gun turrets are fucked. Let's uh, give them a wee repair. I'm gonna need way more repair packs than this. There we go. That's a... Uh, it's... yeah. They're proper fucked. I bet this uses more... iron than just making new... New gun turrets. Now how much is a gun turret? 40 iron. How much is like 5 of these repair packs? No. 5 of these but 15 iron, so. It seems like I just saved some. Mmm, coffee. Right. Next plan is probably to sort out oil. I did, uh, I did sit and make all the prerequisites for it, so. Probably a good shout to do that now. Now let's go and hook everything up, shall we? Alright, let's remove you. The fuck were you even there? No idea. All 
right. So much stone. Okay, yeah, let's head it this way. And we'll dunk most of this into this box. Ah, fuck. That's not what I meant. All of that, all of that, all of that, bar one stack. I like to keep one stack. Mainly for whenever I'm building trains and things so that I can shove a... There we go. I reckon that this, uh, this line will empty itself before the other one comes. Oh, the other one's not loaded, fully loaded anyway, so it doesn't make any difference. There we go. Right. Uh, that's that all cleaned up. Now we can shove in pump jack here. I think I'll sort out my oil stuff down here. So let's grab some one, two, three, four, four oil tanks, and we'll do all the oil down here. Okay. So the the way that you want to lay out your oil tanks is if you place it here, you can see there's a nozzle here, a nozzle here, a nozzle here, and a nozzle here, and you can attach pipes to any of those nozzles. So if you're making a storage setup, you want to shove them like that because then all the nozzles connect with each other. You see? So they all they all share and what they do is it just balances out the it just balances out any any stuff that's in them. All right, let's grab another one of these and we'll get it making some uh, some pipe pot made. Pipe's very easy to make, it's just uh, a bit of a pain in the arse, really. It's a pain in the arse, it's because of the amount that you need, uh, it takes a little while to make it. Shove that there, grab a steel chest. Jobs are good, make me four stacks, thank you very much. There we are. And then that'll just keep making me pipe. Awesome. How about pull that now? Okay, so now we need shove that pipe there, and there we go. One down here. Right, and where's my? There we go. Regular pipe. Okay, so as soon as we connect this up. Boop, that's going to start pumping out uh, oil at a rate of 0.9 per second, and it's going to go straight into these. Perfect. Right, now let's go and connect up the rest of the oil sources that we've got. So we've got a couple over here and some up the, up the top there. I'll connect up. Not just two, is it? No, there's three. There's one there. Fucking trees. Arrgh. Ah, piercing rounds. Get fucked, trees. Oh, there's a fourth. See? The trees, man! The trees are always against you, never with you. Remember this and it will do you well in, uh, in your factorial life. Alright, remove that and shove it there. Okay, pop that to there. Alright, if you're wondering what the what the pumps are doing just now, they're filling up the pipes, because the pipes are... Basically, the way that the pipes work is they're tiny storage units, storage tanks. So, they don't actually push anything anywhere, it's other things that pull it. So, storage tanks don't pull oil. They will, uh, they'll just even stuff out. But this, like, the pump jack pushes, if you get me. Uh, it's, it's, it's complicated and I hate it. <laughs> Basically, that's my explanation of the fluid dynamics of Factorio. It's complicated and I hate it. I've tried to understand it. I've tried multiple times to understand the fucking thing. Yeah. Just doesn't, doesn't work. Don't know if my brain just doesn't enjoy it or if it's needlessly complicated or if it just doesn't make any fucking sense. 
I feel like the latter is probably more uh, more apt for it though. Hmm. Okay. I see what's going on here. Let's just do that for now. And actually, let's just do that for now as well. I don't. This one didn't need doing. Just the bottom one. Uh, you know what? Actually, it's probably easier if we, if instead of this, if I just do that, and then just pick up all of this goal. Uh, oops. Fuck. Ah, well, whatever. There we go. Shove that in there. Done. Right, that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, right, let's head over here and start connecting up these pump jacks again. Now we've got a bit more pipe to ground. See, this is what I was meaning by you can't... Um... You can't just click and drag. When you're making these large ones... It, oh, fuck's sake. Great, I'm, I just took up two trees. And when you're making these, like, long routes of underground pipe, it does help to have, uh... To have that ability. The thing is, as you go along in the game and you start to get robots, you can tell the robots that you just want them to do it. Which makes it a lot easier. Because you can just have a blueprint that's uh, that's at the max range of the pipes. You can just get the robots to fucking do it. So nice. Alright. And I need... One... Uh, is that in line? It's hard to tell. Yes. Okay. Shove that there. Fuck's sake. Quick question is, why the hell does that, did that line not... Oh, right, because of that corner. I was like, why does that line not have any oil in it? There we go. So now they're all connected up and they'll start filling up our storage tanks. Yep. Sweet. Now we've got these ones up here that need connecting up. And then we can start working on oil. The thing is, oil fields will never deplete. So the most that you'll, the least sorry that you'll ever get out of an oil field is 0.1 per second. Obviously that's hella slow. But, I mean you can still keep chugging along. Like, a late game factory once you've started to get uh, a lot of oil wells up and running. You won't really, uh, you'll get to a stage where you don't really need any more oil wells because it's just the natural amount that you get from them is good enough. Alright, let's grab you here. Really, is that? Oh my god. Uh, I'm so used to playing a modded version of Factory where you get upgraded uh, versions of all of these that the length that these things can go is just ridiculous. Like in the modded version you could have easily got that to go to here. But I need to go and pick up some more copper though. I need any more steel. I could probably do some more steel but... Let's grab some more copper. Grab some more iron as well. Grab some more pipe. And grab some more steel. Oh, nice! Those are completely killed the uh... All the wood that we managed to pick up. There we go, how are we doing for these? Ah, we're getting there. Right, now let's go and let's make five big electrical poles. Let's make ten medium ones. There we go. And let's plug all of this shit in. Ah, what a shame, we just can't get to it. 
But that's going to have to do us for this episode, so do remember that if you've enjoyed the episode, to drop a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But I've been CG, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.